Death rates are falling. Life expectancy is rising. Good news, you might think, but not for everyone. I spoke to Professor Steve Haberman to find out about some of the groups and organizations that value this information so highly and ask, why is it so important? Well, it's important to the country to, to know about this and it's important to a government to be able to plan on the basis of this information. I mean, governments need to be thinking about the National Health Service, um, health care. So if there are more and more old people, we need to be able to quantify how many and, for example, where they're going to live, if we're going to plan the location of hospitals, for example. Presumably this information is especially important for pension plans and insurance companies. It's particularly so for insurance companies and pension plans, where one of their most important um, contracts is the pension or annuity, where payments are being made to people for as long as they live. And these payments can, can extend over a long, very long period in the future. And the insurance company needs at the start to have an assessment, a very good assessment of how long someone is going to live. If people are living longer and longer, they need a very good assessment of the extent to which that future lifetime is extending. If they get this wrong, they could lose a lot of money. Perhaps another group that should pay attention to this aging population are political parties. With the announcement earlier this week of the election on the 6th of May, how should political parties be changing their approaches to campaigns and have you seen any evidence of this? I mean that's a, an interesting question. We haven't really seen any any indication of them recognizing the importance of the grey vote um, in these very early days. The talk in the media has all been about the 18, 19 and 20 year olds who are going to be voting for the first time. But the population is getting older, there's increasing percentages of older people and they're going to be dominating um, some of the voting in some of the constituencies. So issues concerned with pensions and the, the health service are going to be very important to the grey vote. And indeed at a time where the government is in, is in deficit, some of the very biggest areas of public spending are on pensions, so, social security and the NHS. One of the difficulties of predicting mortality rates in population are anomalistic groups, groups that don't quite fit in the regular pattern. You've done a lot of work around a group called the Golden Cohort. Who are they? Well, these are people in the UK who were born between the mid-1920s and the mid-1940s, a sort of a 20-year span. And they seem to have much lower death rates than one would expect. And their death rates are falling faster than one would expect. And there are a lot of hypotheses as to why this might be. For example, it's the could be the advent of the NHS in 1948 that helped these people. It could be reductions in smoking that helped these people. And perhaps interestingly, it could be the fact that they went through the Second World War, which was a period of rationing, which led to a strictly controlled diet. And that meant actually that they were not exposed to some of the um, fatty sort of diets that we have these days. So the golden generation must present considerable problems when putting together mortality models. How do you deal with anomalistic groups like this? Well, the golden generation is, we should say, are, are important because they're now aged 65 to 85. They're just in the age group of receiving pensions and trying to understand the dynamics for this group over time is going to be very important for government, insurance companies and pension plans. What we've tried to do is build statistical models that allow for the presence of what we call a cohort effect. And uh, we were the first group to introduce this cohort effect into the models that people use for extrapolating death rates. And this has proved quite powerful in being, being able to identify trends and then project them into the future.